Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Nerdy Boy Crafter. Today I'm going to be making a movie review of The Haunting. The Haunting released in 1963 was directed by Robert Wise and it is based on the novel by the same name, The Haunting. Well, not really the same name. It's based on the novel called The Haunting of Hill House. And the movie it's really really good. Like damn because the movie is basically about a girl named Eleanor Lance as she is invited to be part of an ex a supernatural kind of experiment by Dr. Margway and his three other and his two other assistants, Luke and Theo or Theodora, whatever. And they start to kind of go in the house and stuff. And sometimes they experience supernatural things like banging on the walls or seeing things that aren't really there. I mean, they don't really see things that aren't really there, but it's kind of implied, I guess. I don't know. And it's just, it's really, really scary. And I, it's not scary. It's not scary, but it is very, very freaking creepy. It's best, it's honestly best watched at a high volume with, with uh, lights out at nighttime. Because it just gives you such a creepy feeling. It, the whole movie has a creepy foreboding sense. Like, you don't ever get this kind of feeling when watching a movie. A horror movie. Like, and I wish horror movies today would leave you like that. Because after I finished watching the movie, I literally felt so disturbed and so uncomfortable. I was, even when the movie was over, I still feel that feeling. And that's saying something when you watch a horror movie. Like, that's the way the movies should be. Like, when it's over, you still kind of feel scared. And that's the kind of thing I really like with horror movies back in the day. Because this was a 1960s movie. And during the 60s, horror movies weren't really good. And, or at least to my knowledge, in my opinion. Because they were like, what, vampires and stuff? So, with a haunted house story like this... That is more psychological than anything. It's just really disturbing. And I really like the elements they used in the movie. Like the element of fear and just, you know, anxiety. And, you know, is it really real? Or the unknown. It's stuff like that that is really, really interesting in the movie. And it kind of toys with Eleanor. The whole house is... She's always saying that the house is alive. And it kind of is. And it reminds me of the Overlook Hotel from The Shining. Because in The Shining, the Overlook Hotel is, a, is as itself an entity. It's a it's a living being, as, emph as emphasized by the music and the heartbeats. But getting too deeply, but with Hill House, Hill House is like it stood still for ninety years and will stood and will stand still for ninety more. And basically, it is like really, it's like it's its own living being. It wants. It wants the protagonist, Eleanor. It wants her. And by the end of the movie, it finally got her. So it's like, it's really sad. But honestly, it's really disturbing. Like, the whole movie is really good. Like, I name one movie besides The Shining that can, live, that can literally give you a sort of creepy, uncomfortable feeling by the end. I'll wait. I'll wait. Exactly. None. So, this movie is really good. I totally recommend it. I rated it 10 out of 10. And, discussing the story. The story is real. I just said earlier the story was good. But it really... There's no other word to describe it. It's, it's just better than good. It's amazing. And, not only is it like... this, It's really disturbing. It's really unnerving too. Like, the imagery. The soundtrack. The soundtrack is what really makes it good. I mean, it's not really as creepy as the Shining soundtrack, but it's still hands down a pretty damn good soundtrack, especially for the 60s. So it's like a really good movie, and I totally, you guys, I totally recommend you guys watch it, especially if you guys aren't horror fanatics. It's, it's really gonna play with your emotions. It certainly did with mine, and though there are some clips on YouTube to watch, it is certainly a very good movie to watch, hands down, and. Yeah, that's pretty much all I gotta say. And one more thing before I go is that, you know, it's just the psychological horror elements in the movie really do play with. It's like it plays with your mind the whole time. And it's just, it's one of those movies, you know, it's just one of those movies that are just amazing. 
So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little short movie review. I certainly really enjoyed this movie and watching it. Let me know what you guys think of, like, movie reviews. I probably should do this more. But, um, thank you guys so much for watching. This is Nerdy Boy Crafter signing out. Have a good day.